everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to be sharing this product with you guys and it is the Jaclyn Hill Becca Collaboration. The product that I got out of the collection was the Jaclyn Hill Becca Champagne Collection Face Palette, the Champagne Glow Palette, which if you guys watched my haul, I will link that down below. Go check it out to see all the products that I got that day when did Sephora and Alton Walmart. But anyways, if you guys watched that video, you guys would know that I got the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Glow Palette. And I'm so excited that I got my hands on this. This was the one product that I knew I wanted to get, especially since it was limited edition. Now, I am a little late on filming this video. It's almost out. But basically, I wanted to make this review for any of you guys who didn't buy it and were wondering if you would regret it. And that maybe if you knew that your Sephora had the palette and maybe you were just kind of trying to make a second decision on whether you should get it or not. Honestly, I feel like this palette and this collaboration um, overall has a lot of mixed feelings. And honestly, I'm just going to cut right to it. There's going to be no BS in this review. I'm going to tell you guys my full-on honest opinion on how each shade is, how each product is, and whether or not this palette was worth it, worth your money, whether it is worth spending any money on now, or, you know, if you really missed out on anything. Now, when you look at the packaging, obviously it looks so gorgeous. Don't even mind my ugly fingernails. It's really hard to have nice nails when I uh, work a lot in the food business, so don't mind that. I will be having some cute nails soon. Now, of course, on the back we have the gorgeous Jaclyn Hill. And when you open it up, it just comes in a little cardboard thing here. And then we have the packaging here, which is completely gorgeous, but I'm not going to show you guys. And I'm sure, you know, there are a lot of reviews on this. I wasn't going to do a first impressions on it. I just wanted to give my full-on honest, re honest review on what I think of it. You get a sample of the Becca Cosmetics Backlight Priming Filter. And then you get, of course, the palette, which is absolutely stunning. Like, do you guys see this? Gorgeous, and you can definitely tell that this is going to be champagne themed. And then on the very back, they have the names of the colors. Now, what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be showing you guys the palette up close, explaining it, what I think of each shade, swatches, and I may even provide a picture. Now, when you open up the palette, it's so gorgeous, of course. I mean, look at this. Look at the range of colors. You have three blushes. One is a shimmer, one's a matte, and then one is a satin finish. And then we have our two highlighters, of course. Now, inside you also get a really gigantic mirror. It's honestly nicer than all of my big mirrors that I have at home. It's just so nice, and I'm really, really thankful that Jaclyn did put a nice mirror in this palette because I think it just makes the palette a lot nicer. Now the package is feels very luxurious. Luxurious. It feels really nice. It is kind of heavy, but it's not a bad heavy, and it is flat. Like I'd say it's about a half of an inch um, thick, maybe a little more. Here's a look at the palette. Obviously, you guys can see that this is very, very gorgeous. My palette isn't as very nice and cleaned up as it was when I first got it. So the first color, which is our shimmer pink color, it's called Rose Spritz. And it is honestly so gorgeous. I really, really love it. This is just one of those blushes that are, that is perfect that you can either leave by itself and have a very nice pinky color to your cheeks. And it just looks so natural and just adds a little bit of color and warmth and healthiness to your face. And I really, really love it. And then like I said, there is a little bit of shimmer to it. So it's going to make you look a little more glowy. Put this on your cheeks with the highlighters. You're going to be looking like a glowy goddess. And honestly, my favorite use for this blush rose spritz is to apply it on top of my blushes it's a great blush topper i love it very much and it overall it just helps give a very nice glowy look the shame in the middle is my favorite which is called amaretto this is just a very very gorgeous color when you look at the pan it looks like it's more of a brown shade but it does have some pink tones to it it's absolutely gorgeous i love it very very much and like I said, it's one of my favorites. It's just one of those shades that looks so beautiful. I have it on my cheeks right now. And I really don't have that much on my cheeks right now. It's just, they blend out so beautifully and they look so good. Overall, these blushes are very, very pigmented. When I did my haul, my cheeks were like, ba-bam, in your face. And honestly, that's because that was the first time I ever played with those um, blushes. 
and honestly, you guys need the lightest hand with these blushes. If you do end up going a little too heavy handed, it's not that big of a deal because they still look very beautiful and you can blend them out very nicely. But I strongly suggest going in with a light hand with these blushes because they are hella pigmented. So yeah, love Amaretto. And then the last shade, which is a shade that I would normally not wear but is very, very gorgeous. And this shade is called Pamplemousse. I think that's how you say it. I'm not 100% sure. But this is just a very, very beautiful, like, hot pink color. And I wouldn't even, it's not a Barbie pink, but it's just a very, very gorgeous shade. Now, this shade is very, very gorgeous. This is the one shade that you're going to have to be very careful about uh, because it's very pigmented and it's a very bright color. The blushes are fantastic in this palette, to be completely honest. And this shade is just one of those shades that you can wear to be more fun. And if you do like brighter color, blushes and this is going to be the perfect color for you. Just for the blushes, I think it's really worth the price and if you guys didn't know, this is $52. So now I'm going to move on to the highlighters. Now I have never tried the Becca Cosmetics highlighters before, so I was really, really excited to be trying them out and of course everybody raved about Champagne Pop. Now of course we all know that the my palette got pulled from the line and I think that was kind of a bummer but the whole situation was very big. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, look it up on YouTube. I feel like everybody has talked about it on YouTube. Jacqueline talked about it. It was just a really crappy situation and I think that Jacqueline Hill did a really good job of summing it up and really apologizing and she was just very professional about it and I think that's really nice because I feel like a lot of beauty gurus and companies other than Becca would just put out the product, the crappy product and just get the money for it but honestly Becca and Jacqueline are so sweet. They took the palette off and they, I mean they knew it was a crappy product and I think that's fantastic. But enough of me babbling. So like I said, I've never tried the Becca Cosmetics highlighters in my life. So I was really, really excited to be trying the highlighters in here, especially Champagne Pop because I feel like everybody has been raving about it. The two shades that you get in the palette are Champagne Pop, which is of a more peachy toned highlighter, which I really, really do like this shade. And then we also have what Jaclyn Hill calls Champagne Pop's little sister, Prosecco Pop. And Prosecco Pop is just a more gold highlight, and it is gorgeous. And the reason I was explaining, you know, the whole eyeshadow palette thing was because some people were saying that the palette was horrible, and honestly, the palette is not horrible whatsoever. It's definitely worth the money. Um, however, with the highlighters, I don't know... I don't know how I feel... Um, and I love, I absolutely love Prosecco Pop. It is gorgeous. The two shades mixed together are honestly what makes this palette so amazing. But the one shade that I'm not as impressed with is Champagne Pop. And I can't believe I'm saying that. I kind of feel bad saying that. But I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know if it was just the palette that I got. Um, I don't know. I just feel like... I'm not as amazed and wowed with it as everybody else is. It is a very, very gorgeous highlighter. Don't get me wrong. They last a very long time. It looks gorgeous on the skin. But I think the reason I don't like it as much as anything else in the palette is because maybe it's just my skin tone and the fact that just the way it looks on the skin. I feel like with the Prosecco Pop, I feel like it just looks very, very nice and natural on my skin and it doesn't look glittery. Champagne Pop just looks a little glittery on the cheeks. Now, one tip I do give you guys is if you're going to be using these highlighters, I strongly, strongly suggest spraying your face with like a refreshing water or a setting spray and going in with the highlighter that way. The highlighters overall just look very, very natural and gorgeous and look, look, just look fantastic. So don't get me wrong when I say that I don't like Champagne Pop as much and like I hate the, the palette because honestly I love the palette. I love the blushes. I love the highlights. I couldn't be happier. But I just wish that Champagne Pop didn't look so glittery, which I don't think it's completely glittery. It's just a little more glittery than Prosecco Pop. But with the two of them mixed together, I don't see any glitter. So basically what I do is I go in with a brush like this and I just go and put it on my cheekbones and then I go in with my e.l.f. stippling brush and I just blend out my highlight that way as well and it looks 
gorgeous. I love it so much. I love putting it down the bridge of my nose, on the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, my chin, my cheekbones, center of my forehead. Girl, I'm glowing everywhere. My favorite highlighter, of course, out of the palette is Prosecco Pop. Actually, well, they both are my favorite. I like them mixed together, so technically they kind of are my favorite. That's just my favorite way wearing the highlighters. They last a very long time. They look good. At the end of the day, they look a little glittery and chunky, but I feel like that's my foundation and a lot of the times I don't even set my face. So I feel like that's kind of on my part, not the highlighter side. Overall, I think that this palette is absolutely gorgeous and you need to have it in your collection. Even if it's just like, even if you're just like putting it in your collection to have it as a collector's item, I mean, it's totally worth it. It's completely, completely gorgeous. Now, Jaclyn Hill is coming out with some split pans with Amaretto and Prosecco Pop. I think those are the two colors that were in there. But I could be completely wrong. She does have like Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop uh, in a split pan with um, Amaretto. I don't know if her other colors are in the split pans from this palette. So if you guys are not able to get a hold of the palette, you guys can just get the split pans. With the formula and how nice and blendable the highlighters and the blushes are, it's just it makes the palette so gorgeous and the packaging is honestly to die for like just for how nice the mirror is it's totally worth the money because it's definitely definitely a really really good well made product yeah that was my review on the Jaclyn Hill champagne glow palette I'm sorry if I kind of rambled throughout the video. It's just so hard for me to get all my feelings out about a product in one video. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed my true, honest opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys did like this video, hit the like button down below. And if you guys did get this palette, comment down below and let me know that. And let me know how you guys feel about the palette, whether you like it or love it. Of course, if you guys don't like it, feel free. Comment down below whether you why you don't like it. If you do love it, share why you guys love it because I'd love to see your guys' comments. And it is a gorgeous palette, so I'd love to talk with you guys. I miss talking with you guys down in the comment area. So I will reply to all comments. So yeah, like I said, if you guys like this video, hit the like button down below, don't forget. And also to be notified when I post new videos, Hit the subscribe button down below or, or just go right here on the screen and subscribe. And yeah, so that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.